G'day guys, Russ here from Prime Motion Training. If you're preparing for the Victoria Police Entrance Exam, you're probably familiar with ACE's Practice Reasoning Tests booklet. One of the sections in there, probably everyone's favourite, is the numerical reasoning. And question number 20 is something that I get asked about a lot. So just for a bit of fun, I thought I'd whiz through the workings out for this particular question. And of course for our members, you can log into the members area, have a look at the tutorial videos, and learn about each component or each step in this process to come to the correct answers. All right, let's get into it. So question 20 says, last week six workers did a total of 80 hours overtime. We'll place our 80 hours at the top and we've got our six individual workers down the side here. The first worker did two-fifths of the total. So two-fifths of the total 80 hours over time. That means that worker number one did 32 hours over time. The second worker did one-third of the remaining hours. So we first need to work out the remaining hours and then determine what one third of that remaining hours would be. So 48 hours is the remaining hours, one third of 48 hours. Converting our improper fraction, doing some simple division to determine that 16 hours is one third of the remaining hours. So worker number two has done 16 hours. The four remaining workers shared the rest of the overtime. So we need to determine what is the rest of the overtime. So these hours have already been accounted for What's remaining will be shared amongst the four other workers. 32 hours is what's remaining. So we need to divide that 32 hours evenly amongst those four other workers. So when we divide four into 32, that's gonna break down into eight individual components. So the question is, how many hours did each of the other workers do The answer to that is going to be 8 hours.